Hello everyone. Welcome to our video. Today we are going to talk about contact lens fitting and patient screening. Today we are going to talk about soft contact lens fitting. Soft contact lenses also known as hydrophilic hydrogel, gel, flexible limbal and semi-scleral or limbal and paralimbal lenses are a popular choice for vision correction. Soft contact lens fitting. When it comes to fitting soft contact lenses, there are several factors that come into play. Let's talk a look is at some of the key factors. Number one, modulus of electricity. Elasticity. This refers to the flexibility and softness of the lens material. It determines how well the lens can comfort to shave. Of your eyes different people have different eye shape so finding the right modules of elasticity is important for a comfort fit number two manufacturer method the way soft contact lenses are made can affect their fit different manufacturing method can proceed lenses with different thickness curvature and design variation allow for a more customized fit to suit individual eye characters number three water quantity soft contact lens contain water and the amount of the water in the lenses material can impact lens fit high water content lenses tend to be softer and more comfortable but they may also be more prone to drying out finding the right balance of water content is circle for a comfortable and well fitting lens so four keratometric reading this readings measure the curvature of the front surface of the your eye known as the cornea the shape of the cornea can affected the fit of the contact lens your eye care professional will talk this measurement to help determine the appropriate lens size and curvature for your eye number five lead tuners the strength of tensions of the your eyelid known as lead tuners can influence how the contact lens sight on the uh, your eye your eye care professional will access your lead tuners to ensure that the lens fits properly and does not cause any discomfort or movement. Number 6. Tear Film The tear film on the surface of the your eye acts as a lubricant and helps maintain the health of your eyes. The tear frame also plays a role in the fit of the contact lens. Your eye care professional will be able to the quality and quantity of the your IT your tear frame and to ensure that the lens can be comfortably worn without causing dryness or irritation. By considering all of these factors eye care professional can find right soft contact lens fit for each individual. A well fitted soft contact lens should provide clear vision, comfort and a nature feel on the eye. Soft contact lens of different brand with water content. There are three main types of soft contact lenses based on their water content. Low water content lenses. These lenses contain less than 40% water. They are less comfortable to wear than lenses with higher water content, but they are also less likely to dry out. Medium water content lenses. These lenses contain 40 to 60% water. They are a good between compare between comfort and weightability. High water content lenses. These lenses contain more than 60% water. They are most comfortable to wear, but they are also the most likely to the dry out. When choosing soft contact lenses, it is important to consider your individual needs and preference. If you are looking for a lens that is comfortable to wear, 
you may want to choose a lens with a high water content. However, if you are active and sweat a lot, you may want to choose a lens with a lower water content. These lenses are less likely to dry out. Fitting step. Fittings of contact lenses involves a series of steps to ensure a comfortable, precious fit for each individual. Like take a look at the main step in involved history. The first step is to, to gather information about your eye health history and any previous contact lenses were and any specific visual need or concentrant you may have. This helps the eye care professional understand your unique requirement and tailor the fitting process accordingly. Number 2. Initially Eye Examine This examination, also known as a slit lamp examination, involves the use of a special microscope to examine the structure of your eyes. The eye care professional will assess the health of your cornea, conjunctiva and eyelids as well as look for any signs of eye infection, dryingness or other condition that may affect contact lens wear. Number 3. Refraction Refraction is a test of determined your eyeglass perception or the amount of reflective error you have. It helps the eye care professional understand your visual need and assist in selecting the appropriate contact lens power for clear and comfortable vision. Number 4. Keratometry Keratometry is a measurement of the curvature of your cornea. The font surface of the eye, your eye, this measurement helps determine the appropriate size and shape of the contact lens to ensure a proper fit on your eye. Number 5. HVID stands for Horizontal Visual Iris Determinant. It is a measurement of the visual portion of the colored part of the, your eye, known as the iris. The measurement helps in the selection of the right determined, right determined and design of the contact lens much the size of the your iris and provide optimal coverage and stability number six other test test in additional to the above step your eye care professional may conduct additional tests to assess tear flame quality tear production corneal sensitivity and other factors that can influence contact lens wear this test help ensure that your eyes are healthy and suitable for contact lenses use. 7. Selection of trial lenses Based on the information gathered from the previous steps, your eye care professional will select a trial lenses that closely match your perception, corneal shape and other specific requirement. These trial lenses allow you to try them on and assess their comfort, fit, and visual acuity before finalizing the contact lens prescription. Each of these fitting steps is crucial and finding the right soft contact lenses for your eyes by following this comprehensive process, your eye care professional can ensure a comfortable and precious fitting that promotes clear vision and maintain the health of your eyes. When to fit spherical soft contact lens. Spherical soft contact lenses are common choice for vision correction and there are certain situations where they are the preferred option. Let's explain when spherical soft contact lenses are typically fitted. Number 1. Spherical refractive errors. Spherical soft contact lenses are obtained. The lens of choose for individuals with low refractive error, specifically those that are less than or equal to 0.75 diopters. These lenses can affect it, correct mild nearsightedness or farsightedness without the need for additional correction.
such as toric lenses astigmatism number 2 comfort as a prime issue spherical soft contact lenses are preferred for and comfort is a primary concern these lenses are designed to provide a comfortable fit as they have an uniform curvature across the entire lens surface if comfort is your main priority and you have a mild refractive error spherical soft contact lenses may be ideal option number 3 extreme refractive error and aphakia for individual with the significant refractive errors of these who have undergoes character cataract surgery resulting in aphakia means the absence of the natural lens spherical soft la- contact lenses can provide effective vision correction these lenses can be customized made and accommodated high vision power allowing for clear and comfortable vision number 4 low rx s and rgb comfort in some cl- cases individuals may have low refractive errors that could be corrected with regard as permeable rgb lenses however if the increases in vision with rgb lenses in minimum or not balanced by a significant improvement in comfort spherical soft contact lenses may be a preferable alternative significant corneal astigmatism with spherical manifest rx if you are have significant corneal astigmatism but your overall refractive error is spherical spherical soft contact lenses can be a suitable choice these lenses can affected and corrected the spherical component of your prescription while allowing the corneal to provide some astigmatism correction naturally when fitting spherically soft soft contact lenses it's important to ensure that the meet specific criteria for optimum performance centration the lens should align and center properly on your eye to provide clear and stable vision comfort to the anterior eye spherical soft contact lenses should feel comfortable and not cause any discomfort or irritation to the front part of the eye adequate movement the lenses should have enough movement on the eye to ensure proper uh, tear exchange and maintain good ocular health coverage of the cornea in all eye position the lenses should have adequately covered the cornea ensuring that your entire visual field is corrected regardless of your eye movement point to fix spherical soft contact lenses spherical soft contact lenses are obtained the lens of toy to is for certain condition and situation let's explore when it is suitable to consider fitting spherical soft contact lenses number 1 the lens of first choice for individual with mild refractive error especially to those that are less than or equal to 0.75 diopter spherical soft contact lenses are often the primary choice the lenses can effectively correct mild near sightedness or far sightedness without the need for additional correction such as toric contact lens astigmatism when comfort is a prime issue comfort play a crucial role in contact lenses where if comfort is a significant consideration for you spherical soft contact lenses are a good option These lenses designed with a unique curvature across this entire lens surface providing a comfortable fit for many wearers. Number 3 extreme refractive errors including aphakia for individual with a significant refractive error of these who have undergo cataract surgery resulting in aphakia. Spherical soft contact lenses can provide effective vision correction. The lenses can be customized made 
to accommodate higher prescription power, allowing for clear and comfortable vision. Number four, low refractive errors and RGP comfort. In some cases, individual may have low refractive errors that could be corrected with RGP lenses. However, if the increases in vision with RGP lenses is minimum and not balanced by a significant improvement in comfort, spherical soft contact lenses may be a preferable alternative. Number 5. Significant corneal astigmatism with a spherical manifest RX. If you have significant corneal uh, refractive error, spherical soft contact lenses can be a suitable tool. These lenses can correct the spherical comp component of the precision while allowing the cornea to provide some astigmatic correction. When fitting spherical soft contact lenses, it is essential to ensure that they meet specific criteria for optimum performance. Let's take a closer look at what we mean by the soft contact lens centers of a well centered soft con lens we can see that the lens is positioned right in the middle of the eye the amount of limbal overlay which is the part of the lens the extend onto the white part of the eye called the sclera is the normal for this type of the lens even with the desired amount of lens movement on the eye meaning the lens movement slightly with our eye movement corneal coverage is maintained in all eye position the cornea which is the clear front surface of the eye is fully covered by the lens providing clear and consistent vision proper centration is important for a few reasons first it ensure that the optical center of the lens aligned with the center of the cornea maximization visual acuity when the lens is well centered light enter the eye can pass through the correct part of the lens allowing the clear and sharp focus second proper centration help to maintain the health of the cornea when the lens is centered Correctly, the tear can flow freely underneath it, providing necessary lubricant and oxygen to the cornea. This helps to keep the cornea healthy and prevent discomfort of or dryness. Lastly, well centered lenses generally feel more comfortable on the eye. The, they are less likely to cause irritation or movement related discomfort as they maintain a stable position throughout the day. Eye care professional carefully assess lens centration during the feed process and ensure that the lens is aligned properly on the eyes. They may use specialized instrument or perform visual examination to check our centration. Fitting method of soft contact lenses When it comes of fitting soft contact lenses, there are two main methods empirical method and the diagnostic method let's explore each method in more details empirical method the empirical method involves selecting the final lens directly from the data obtained during the pre-fretting ablation this method is relatively simple and quick for the eye care practitioner if or it does not require the use of trial lenses which make it a more cost effective option additionally there are no public health issue associated with this method advantages of the empirical method and quick for the practitioner the empirical method allow for a streamlined fitting process saving the time for both the practitioner and the patient. No trial lens is required. Since the final lens is chosen based on the pre-fitting ablation data, there is no need for trial lenses, reducing the complexity of the fitting process. Cheaper manufacturing, the absence of the trial lenses 
in the fitting process can result in cost saving in terms of the land's manufacture. No public health issues. With the empirical method, there are no concerns related to the cross contamination hygiene associated with the use of trial lenses. Disadvantage of the empirical method Patient does not experience lens wear before delivered. With the empirical method, the patient does not have the opportunity to try the lenses before they are delivered. This can make it more challenging, comfort and fit accurately. Lens corneal behavior is not always uh, predictable since the fit is determined uh, slowly based on the pre-fitting evaluation data, there is a possibility that the incorrect between the lens and the cornea may not always be correct. Uh, predicted. Practitioner can't observe patient response to the lens without the use of trial lenses. The practitioner cannot directly observe how the patient responds to the lens, which may limit their ability to make adjustment if needed. The accurately of this fitting method is a unpre due to the reliance eh, on the pre-fitting data alone. The correctly of the empirical method can vary from case to case. Fitting method of the soft contact lens, especially the diagnostic method. Diagnostic method. This diagnostic method involve using trial lenses based on pre-fitting data to observe the lens behavior on the cornea. This method allow the practitioner to assess the fit and make adjustment before determining the final lenses. Advantages: This is a diagnostic method. Patient is satisfied. Satisfied with the lens with the diagnostic method the patient have of the opportunity to try the lenses before the final selection is made this helps ensure that they choose lenses provided optimum comfort and vision leading to the higher patient satisfaction patient experience lens wear before delivery by using trial lenses, patients get the chance to experience wear the lenses and provide valuable feedback. This helps the practitioner make any necessary adjustment and address any concern before finalizing the lens. Practitioner can observe patient response to the lens with the trial lenses. The practitioner can directly observe how the patient eyes react to the lenses. This allows for better assessment of comfort, fit and any potential issue that may arise. The accuracy is higher with this method by having the opportunity to observe the lens behavior on the cornea. The practitioner can make more precious adjustment and choose the best fitting lens for the patient. Disadvantages of the diagnostic method take more air time the diagnostic method typically requires more chair time as the practitioner need to be evaluated the trial lenses on the patient eyes make adjustment and repo repeat the process if needed this can prolong with the fitting process requires trial lens maintenance stored by the lens practitioner with the use of trial lenses, the practitioner need to have variety of the lenses available and properly maintain the store them for hygienic purpose. Public health is tissue involved. Since the trial lenses are used and shared among different patients, there is a potential risk and cross uh, contamination or the spread of infection. Proper hygienic protocols and disinfection procedure are uh, crucial to minimize the risks. Subcontact lens fitting. When it comes to soft contact lens fit, there are various approaches the eye care professional can follow. 
let's explore some the some of these fitting philosophy k reading or corneal curvature in this method the fitting is done based on the corneal curvature measurement specifically the k reading the fitting is typically done on the flatted than flat k value for the example if the k1 reading is 7.4 and the k2 reading is 7.6 then the 7.6 reading is the considered the flat k value number 2 hvit horizontal visible iris diameter or corneal diameter in this method the fitting is done not done by considering the horizontal visible iris diameter the lens size is chosen based on the hvit measurement for example if the hvit measurement is 12 adding 2 mm would result in a total diameter 14 mm three sag sagittal depth in this method this fitting is done consider the sagittal depth value the sagittal depth indicate the curvature of the cornea and a lower sagittal depth indicate a flatter lenses for example if s1 has a sagittal depth of the 1.7 and s2 has a sagittal depth of 1.4 s2 is the considered flatter Number 4. Meridian Fitting Method In this method, the land manufacturer provided their base curve BC option. The first step is to select the medial base curve such as 8.6 mm. If 8.6 mm is flat, then the 8.3 base curve is co-choose. If 8.6 mm is step steep, uh, then the 8.9 mm base curve is chosen. Number 5 manufacturer method or custom based lenses. In this approach, all the data obtained from the pre fitting evaluation is sent to the lens manufacturer. They calculate and design a custom lens based on this data. The final lens is then manufactured and provided for fitting. This method is often accompanied by the diagnostic method where trial lens are used to assess the feed before the final customer lens is made. It's important to know that each fitting uh, philosophy has its own ad advantage and consideration. The choose of fitting method may depend on factors such as the patient corneal shapes visual need and the practitioner's experience during the fitting process your eye care professional will assess your eyes take measurement and determine the most appropriate fitting philosophy for the, your specific needed they will guide to through the process and ensure that the choose the lens provides optimum vision comfort and eye health effect of sagittal depth Sagittal depth refers to the measurement of the curvature of the cornea. It plays a significant role in determining the appropriate fit of a soft contact lenses. Let's take a look at an illustration to understand its effective visuality. In this illustration, we have two different sagittal depth value, S1 and S2. S1, a cornea with a higher sagittal depth indicating a steeper curvature when fleeting a soft contact lens on a cornea with a higher sagittal depth the lens need to be flatter to match the shape of the of the eye otherwise the lens may see too too tightly on the cornea causing discomfortable and comparison vision as to this represent cornea with a lower sagittal depth indicating a flatter curvature in this case the soft contact lenses need to have a stiffer base curve to provide a proper fit if the lens is too flat it may conform will well to the shape of the eye leading the instability and potential movement of 
the Allen lens centration based on centration coordinates. We will be discussing the topic called lens centration specifically focused on the method using the described to based on centration coordinate. Lens centration referred to the position of a lens in relation to the eyes. It is the important to ensure proper centration to achieve optimal vision performance and comfort when wearing eyeglass or contact lenses. There are various methods used to describe lens position, but we will focus on two widely accepted approach, Sartesian coordinate and a variation known as V nozzle. Let's start with Sartesian coordinate. You might be familiar with the Sartesian coordination system for your math classes. It used to two perpendicular axes usually level as X and Y. In lens centration, the vertical axis is used to describe the lens position without any dis uh, difficulty. However, the horizontal coordinates and challenge inconstancy arise because the right eye and left eye have opposite direction for the horizontal coordinates in other words when we use plus x for the right eye it indicate nozzle towards the center of the force face decentration whereas x plus for the left eye represent temporal away from the center of the face decentration overcome this difficulty other method called the binary variation is sometimes used this approach account for the different direction of nasal and temporal direction between the two eyes it provide a more consistent uh, representation of lens position particularly for the horizontal coordinate it's important to know that the choose between the citation coordinates and the binasal variation depend on the local custom and practices. Different reason or practitioner may have their preference regarding which method to use. Thank you once again for joining me and I wish you all the best in future. Take care of your eyes and keep exploring the fascinating world of eye care.